part nine police reform playlist, police misconduct and independent civilian review boards. Okay, so now we have established that the majority of civilian review boards in this country have no power. They don't have subpoena power. They do not have the power to terminate police officers, to suspend police officers, to bring charges against police officers. So what good are they? They aren't. So what do they do? Sometimes they get a packet and they are allowed to investigate and then they make a recommendation to the chief of police as to whether they believe a police officer should be fired. And that police chief can crumble up that recommendation and throw it in the trash. And that is why it's so important for you in your city to push for independent civilian review boards that have power, that have teeth. Police officers should not be allowed to investigate their own crimes and to find themselves innocent. And they really should not be investigated by fellow officers, whether they work for the same agency or not. We need independent civilian review boards. Who can create these civilian review boards? In some cities, the mayor can. In some cities, the city council can, right? In some cities, um, they can be a statewide board. So you need to figure out first, do you have a civilian review board? And you probably do. And the second thing you need to ask yourself is who sits on these boards? Because the rules that we wanted were that you could not be related to a police officer and sit on this board. You could not be married to a police officer. You could not be a retired former, former police officer because that is a conflict of interest. In your city, Sometimes the people on the civilian review board are appointed directly by the mayor. So if that is the case, you need to contact the mayor's office and say, are there any seats open on the civilian review board? How are people appointed to the board? How are they chosen for the board? How many people of color sit on the board? How many members of the gay community are on that board? How many black and brown people? How many Muslims? You're going to find that the civilian review boards in your state consists of a majority of white people with one token. And that token is typically not woke or former law enforcement. Push for independent civilian review boards in your state so police can no longer investigate themselves and find themselves innocent.